Hi everyone my name is Kishan Rabdia. Have you ever wondered how the government of India works? From the prime minister to your local village council, it's all here. Let's dive into the world of Indian politics and find out how it all works. You are watching the Inside India Politics channel. India is a federal parliamentary democratic republic. This means that the country is divided into states and union territories, each governed by its own elected officials. Every five years, the citizens of India have the opportunity to vote for their representatives at the national and state level. The winning party forms the government, and the leader of that party becomes the prime minister. The prime minister is the head of the government and is assisted by a cabinet of ministers. They are responsible for making decisions on behalf of the country and implementing policies. The government is made up of various departments, each headed by a minister. These departments are staffed by bureaucrats who are responsible for carrying out the policies of the government. At the local level, the government is represented by the panchayats. These are elected councils that take care of the day-to-day -day needs of the people in their villages or towns. The government of India is guided by the Constitution of India. This document outlines the powers and responsibilities of the different branches of government, as well as the rights and duties of the citizens of India. The legislative branch of the government is made up of two houses, the Lok Sabha and the Rajya Sabha. The Lok Sabha is the lower house and is comprised of elected members from the different states and territories of India. The Rajya Sabha is the upper house and is made up of representatives nominated by the President of India. The executive branch of the government is responsible for carrying out the policies and decisions made by the legislative branch. This branch is headed by the Prime Minister and the Cabinet of Ministers. The judiciary branch of the government is responsible for interpreting the constitution and resolving disputes between the different branches of government, as well as between citizens. The highest court in India is the Supreme Court, which is made up of a chief justice and other judges. The government of India provides a variety of services and programs for its citizens, including healthcare, education, social security, and infrastructure development. These programs are funded by taxes paid by the citizens and are designed to improve their quality of life. The President of India is the head of the state and the first citizen of the country. The President is elected by an electoral college consisting of elected members of both houses of parliament and the legislative assemblies of the states. While the Prime Minister is the head of the government and runs the day-to-day -day affairs of the country, the President plays an important role in the functioning of the government as well. The President has the power to appoint the Prime Minister and the other members of the cabinet, as well as to dissolve the Lok Sabha and call for new elections. India is divided into 28 states and 8 union territories. Each state and union territory has its own elected government, with the chief minister as the head of the government. The states and union territories are further divided into districts, each governed by a district collector. The Election Commission of India is an independent body responsible for conducting free and fair elections in the country. The commission has the power to enforce election rules and regulations and to ensure that the election process is conducted transparently and impartially. Despite the progress made by the government of India, the country still faces many social and economic challenges. Issues such as poverty, inequality, unemployment, and corruption continue to affect the lives of millions of people in India. The government of India has launched several schemes and programs aimed at addressing these social and economic challenges. For example, the Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Act provides job opportunities for rural workers, and the Pradhan Mantri Jan Dhan Yojana provides financial services for the underprivileged. It is important for citizens to take an active role in the democratic process and to hold their elected representatives accountable. This can be done through voting, participating in public discussions and debates, and making their voices heard on social and economic issues. The right to peaceful protest and dissent is a fundamental aspect of democratic societies. In India, citizens have the right to protest and raise their voices against policies and decisions they disagree with. The media and press play an important role in a democratic society by acting as watchdogs over the actions of the government and other institutions. In India, the media and press have the right to freely report and publish information, subject to reasonable restrictions imposed by law. Civil society organizations, such as non-government organizations, advocacy groups, and community-based organizations, play a critical role in ensuring that the voices of marginalized communities are heard and that their rights are protected. These organizations work to bring attention to social and economic issues and to hold the government accountable for its actions. The legal system in India is an integral part of the government and plays a crucial role in ensuring justice and protecting the rights of citizens. The Indian legal system is based on British common law and is comprised of various courts, including the Supreme Court, the High Courts, and the Lower Courts. 
the Supreme Court of India is the highest court of appeal in the country and has the power to interpret the constitution and strike down laws that violate the constitution. The Supreme Court also has the power to issue advisory opinions on important legal questions and to ensure that the laws of the country are applied fairly and justly. The judiciary in India plays an important role in protecting the rights of citizens. Through its various courts and tribunals, the judiciary ensures that citizens have access to justice and that their rights are protected. The judiciary also has the power to enforce the rights guaranteed by the constitution and to hold the government accountable for its actions. So there you have it. That's how the government of India works. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and share this video. Stay tuned for more educational and informative content from the Inside India Politics channel.